three guns were confiscated from city students inside high school buildings in a matter of hours Wednesday, two in the Bronx and one in Brooklyn, sources told The Post. An 18-year-old student refused to pass through a metal detector at the Mott Haven Educational Campus in the Bronx, where scanners are installed on random days, according to law enforcement sources. He ran from the building and attempted to hide a .22 caliber pistol in his backpack, sources said. After the building was placed on lockdown, the gun was recovered by school staffers without further incident. At Adlai Stevenson High School, also in the Bronx, a student was busted with a loaded .32 caliber weapon and a bag of marijuana after the items were detected in the school's full-time scanner, sources said. A third gun was discovered at FDR High School in Brooklyn Wednesday afternoon during a fight between a pair of students. After school safety agents separated them, staffers spotted a gun in the waistband of one of the participants. The .32 caliber pistol was recovered safely, sources said. FDR does not have a metal detector. Earlier this month, a 21-year-old man tried taking cover inside his 271 in Ocean Hill and forced a panicked lockdown during school hours before he was arrested in the auditorium. Weapons of any kind have absolutely no place in our schools, and our outstanding school safety agents swiftly and safely recovered these items during screenings, ensuring that all students and staff are safe, said Dos Pekespis and Nathaniel Steyer. All protocols were followed, and we are working closely with NYPD regarding follow-up actions. First Lady Chilbidden was in New York Wednesday for a visit to a public school in the Bronx. School sources told The Post that gang beefs, especially in the Bronx, simmered on the street while schools were closed due to the coronavirus. Now they are all in the same place together again, said one law enforcement source. That is leading to some problems. A school staffer added that some kids bring weapons to school as aggressors, while others do so out of concern for their own safety. A recent post-analysis of NYPD data found that at least 21 teens were killed by either knives or guns between January and September 30. That was more than three times the number for the same period in both 2019 and 2020.